The music man behind Eccleston, Tennant, Smith and Capaldi is now officially back in Doctor Who. Russell really seems to be getting the band back together, but is this a good thing? So if you've been living under a rock, let me catch you up to speed. Murray Gold is a composer who is credited for many bangers in Doctor Who, such as this one, this one, this one, this one and heck even this one. So he was the music man for Doctor Who from 2005 to 2017. Now that is a very long stint in any job and when he left in 2017 I thought that was it. I thought he'd be pretty done with the show and ready to move on to different projects. But then the BBC just dropped this. We are recording music with the National Orchestra of Wales for Doctor Who 2023 or RTD2. I'm Murray Gold and I'm the composer on Doctor Who. So he is back. I mean, wow. Wowee. Did we see that one coming? Probably. And so far the reaction has been pretty positive. I mean, like, Murray can be credited with, you know, shaping a lot of our childhoods. Like, you play any of those songs from 2005 to 2017 and will instantly be transported back there. I mean, he's he's very talented. He's very talented. I put it out to you guys on Twitter at CrispyPro if you guys were excited about Murray being back or not. And 85% of you said yes, you absolutely are, with only 15% saying no. So, pretty positive from you guys as well. And of course, this announcement very much felt like a case of when, not if, Murray Gold was coming back because, you know, with Russell being back, with David being back, with Catherine being back, it only seemed like Murray would follow suit. I mean, they really did get the whole 2005 team back together. I mean, what what is going on? It's very strange. But of course, there was going to be like no way we were going to have a new sound for the 60th anniversary specials. The 60th very much feels like a nostalgia play and a large part of that nostalgia, not only the casting, but the music is so so, so important. I can't imagine having Catherine Tate's Donna Noble back and not having her iconic theme. I mean, it's a banger. And if you want more of that, please subscribe, I guess. What a terrible time to plug the channel. But yeah, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 30,000 subscribers. I very much appreciate you. And like the video. Why not? Oh, and I just launched a TikTok. You can go and follow me there, but I promise I won't be dancing over there, okay? Good. Moving on from 2023's 60th anniversary specials, will Murray be back in the future for series 14, 15, 16 and beyond? Because the 60th makes so much sense for me. As I said, it's a nostalgia play and part of that nostalgia is Murray Gold's score. But with all the exciting things happening in Doctor Who with, you know, Shooty, Millie, Jinx, it's heading in very new directions. So will Murray stay on for that? Well, Probably. Yes, he will. He will, probably. Most definitely. New slash old showrunner Russell T posted this to his Instagram following the Murray Gold announcement. Murray Gold will be the composer for the next season of Doctor Who. Is anyone surprised? Full story and interview in this week's Doctor Who magazine. So with the wording there, especially the words next season, I very much think that uh, Murray Gold will be staying on at least for Russell's years. However long Russell stays on for, he'll probably stay on for years and years. Haha, <laughs> that's a pun. So yeah, it looks like Murray is back for the fourth future which is okay I guess but then the other part of me feels like they've taken the opportunity of a lifetime away from someone else by getting Murray back but I'll, I'll get into that in a second with the official announcement the BBC put up this press release so I'll read it I'll read a little bit for you here and now he's back Murray Gold will once again work with the BBC National Orchestra of Wales with his musical scores appearing when Doctor Who returns in November for three special episodes celebrating the show's 60th anniversary with David Tennant as the 14th Doctor before Shudi Gatwa takes control of the TARDIS as the 15th Doctor with his first episode airing over the festive period. On returning to Doctor Who, Murray Gold says, I'm so happy to be invited back for another joyful ride in the TARDIS. I didn't think twice. Working with Russell and his team is just a pleasure. Well, that's nice, I suppose. That's quite nice. I don't know. Since leaving the show, Murray has worked on a lot of cool projects such as Dead Ringers, Gentleman Jack, and of course for Russell T Davis, he worked on Years and Years and It's a Sin. Now out of all of that, I've only seen It's a Sin and my goodness, I really, really enjoyed that show. Not only from Russell's writing, but the music definitely enhanced that production. And since his return was announced, I've seen clips popping up on Twitter of um, cool stuff that Murray's done since then. And it all sounds very, very good. And it all sounds very different to Doctor Who, which is good. Murray is an incredible 
incredibly versatile composer and is very good at making each project sound unique. I honestly never thought for a second that It's a Sin sounded like Doctor Who or vice versa. You know, they were completely separate projects and the music reflects that. And even within the show, like 10, 11 and 12's eras all sounded very differently. You know, there were definitely some motifs and stuff that traveled along all the way through, but all of those eras definitely had a distinctive sound and Murray did an excellent job at composing that. So I have no doubt that with Murray back that Shooty's era will sound completely different to, you know, your David Tennant's, your Peter Capaldi's, your Matt Smith's. It'll be very fresh, very new, and heck, you know, maybe Murray picked up some things along the way and was like, oh, if I ever come back to Doctor Who, that's what I'm going to do for my new era. And I truly believe that Shooty's era will not just feel like a rehash of the last 20 years of Doctor Who. But in saying that, as I said, I really do feel like they've taken the opportunity of a lifetime away from someone else by getting someone new in. There is a lot of good talent out there. For instance, with our last composer, Sagan Akinola, he did the entirety of Jody's run and him only staying for that run makes that run feel so unique and so special. Say what you will about my boy Sagan, but he had some bangers like this one, this one, and heck, even this one. His more minimal approach might not have been for everyone because Murray likes these big bombastic themes um, and you know, Sagan's was more subtle, but in saying that, Jody's era felt so different and so fresh. But I think for me, there's just something really special about the 13th Doctor's theme, probably because that was the very first thing I wrote and it just stayed the entire time. And I've been able to explore using it in a lot of different ways, whether it's more emotional or less emotional. And being able to then leave that as the last thing that I've written for this Doctor as well is really special. And there are so many great composers working today that they very much could have got in for the show. Like, they could have gone with Michael Price, who did all of Benedict Cumberbatch's Sherlock, uh, Carly Paradis, who did Line of Duty, Elton John, for God's sake. I don't know. I'm making this up on the fly. Russell is very much playing it safe and sticking to his guns because, you know, it's, it's all about who you know. But in saying that, I very much feel like Russell moving forward will be a mixture of old slash new talent. You know, there's going to be new directors, new leads, new all, all types of stuff, new side characters. It's a very exciting time for the show. Speaking of exciting things, someone on Twitter pointed out in the video that they were like, oh my gosh, I've seen some stuff from the 60th, like you know, on a little monitor there, like when they were scoring it, that's a, that's a 60th scene. But no, I regret to inform you that that is from the series four finale where uh, David Tennant's about to wipe uh, Catherine Tate's Donna Noble's mind. So it's not the 60th. But what I think is happening there is that they will probably do a reprise of that score from that scene. So Donna's memory is definitely a big part of the 60th and we're going to get those old motifs back. So you want nostalgia? You're getting, You're getting it, kids. It, kids. Yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think about Murray Gold being back. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Would you have preferred someone new or do you want Murray to stay for the next one million years? Please let me know in the comments. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. We're trying to reach 30,000 subscribers and have a wonderful day. Alonzi, baby.